So, I want to be passed around so bad, but my boyfriend just wants a monogamous relationship. It's 2024. Expecting to be with one person for your entire life is, like, unreasonable. I left my boyfriend and I've been traveling for 10 days and I've slept with 22 people in that 10 days. You are not going to tell me that the only thing a man gets from a woman is nasty sex. How am I not going to tell you that? Okay. So you tell me what a man feel he get. <laughs> no, since you know what a man feel a man get, tell me what a man feels he get. Boy, this your podcast, man. Yeah, we got everybody in the house tonight. We got the whole, fa the whole, whole family here, y'all. Hey. Yeah, yes, man. <laughs> I'm incognito tonight. No face, no trace. Oh, that boy. You know what I mean? The female bureau of investigation. The Whoa. female bureau yeah. of investigation. Bureau of, I don't know, shit. Because they might, they, they might have a couple child support agents in there. Everybody in the building, of course, you might Los, of course. You know what I mean? We got T over. T. You know what, man? Let me. We got T over here. <laughs> over there. We got hey, my man that? CJ in the building. I don't do much. I just do a little bit of stuff. Not a lot, just a little bit. Nah, nah. My <laughs> birthday is in a couple days, so I ain't doing that much right now. Sunday. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, y'all. We got I mean we got gotta make sure he gets straight. Yeah. Yeah, listen, man. Shall we get this thing here started? I'm yes. ready. I mean, y'all 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 are y'all ready? We're gonna dive right into this shit. Listen. Ooh, hold on, but first of all, we can start. Look. My peanut bought me this. this oh, the peanut. She took. Oh, yeah, she took care of her daddy. Father's Day. See, she's a real child. She's that's real. What I'm that's real love right there. Hold on, hold on. All the holidays is every day. It's Christmas every day. Not, not, not for us. No, no, no Mother's, Mother's Day every day. Every day. Yeah. Oh, hey, oh, Mother's hey. Day is every day. <laughs> Father's Day is literally one day of the year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we don't get commercials. We don't get nothing. Yeah. Yeah, and then, and then when we do get some, it's a goddamn tie. <laughs> don't even want not, don't even there you go. That's why she laughing. That's exactly why she laughing. The three places. Maybe work if you got that kind of job. Court. Yep. Or a funeral. That's it. Look. I used to buy my dad ties and socks. when I, That was when I was younger, though. When I was like a teenager, yep. Because I ain't know what else to get. Did you buy them or your mom gave you the money to buy them? No. <laughs> who, who, who gave you the money? I was working. Okay, okay. I've been okay. working since 14, I would have took them ties 13. back and gave them right back to you. Say, hey, hey happy birthday, baby. <laughs> you got to be a re-gift expert. You know what? For some reason, I never saw my dad wear them ties. Wear an ugly ass tie. Wearing the socks, though. So he obviously liked the socks that I would pick out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm serious. <laughs> my dad always wore pretty much like the same tie to church every Sunday. It definitely ain't going to be wearing I might be using it, but a little, hey. no face, no trace. Yeah. <laughs> no trace. Spankage. Yeah, man. <laughs> Y'all's a mess. <laughs> As usual, welcome to this show podcast. As usual, we're going to have a good show for y'all tonight. We got at least six viral videos to react to. So just sit back, sit okay. your ass down, watch some, some food. Videos with us. You take tablet, whatever with you, and you listen. Take yeah. us with you. Take us with you. Comment. And let's get this thing here started. Let's roll. Let's, let's get it started. And here, oh, I'm sorry. I'm uh, always. Let's I'm get always, it started. Got some music. Hey. <laughs> Oh. Let's go. So I want to be passed around so bad, but my boyfriend just wants a monogamous relationship. It's 2024. Expecting to be with one person for your entire life is like unreasonable. I'm a young 18 year old Latina. I'm trying to get my face blasted by multiple men. Like I haven't even had a quickie in a bathroom stall. I have so much to live for. And you're telling me that I have to stay with this one guy because I love him so much. But there's literally guys out there with 13 inch meats waiting to destroy me. It would just be so unfortunate if I were to go my whole entire life without getting piped by at least a hundred different people. Just to see who the most. Who the hell raised her? Oh my Listen, God. Listen, as we say in Philly, damn. <laughs> <laughs> who the hell raised her? <laughs> Listen. Hold on, who, who Listen. tried to start? Who did? Look, look, let, let's see, Jake. If this was my, if this was my birthday coming up about five, six years ago, <laughs> you'll go find her, wouldn't you? You'll I will DM diving right now, uh, like, scrolling <laughs> all like this. Yeah, I'm gonna take you off yeah. for my birthday, but since I am delivered. <laughs> delivered. I'm, he said I'm special. I don't I'm know special what she, um, she on. First of all. <laughs> 13 inch meat paws. First of all, she said she, <laughs> she was 18. Is out of pocket. Young, but she should not be that promiscuous. However, I'm not going to judge nobody. She's doing a little too much. It blasted in the face. If, if shit like that, oh my God. Oh, yeah.
Oh that. my God! What you mean? Took me, that took me back, man. I had a flash, man. man. <laughs> uh, let me ask you: Do you think she was trolling, or, or she just was just really I just know. like I mean, that? You got some paint there. I mean, you, got you think she was trolling, bro? Info? She could be half and half. Yeah, she, <laughs> she could she, be trolling she, about some of it, yeah. some of it. Maybe she really yeah. wasn't blasted. Who's, who's to say that she can really handle all that? She eighteen. She don't know what the hell she can. Hey, handle. hey you never know until you try. Yeah, she said she raised for thirteen inches. Right. Dive you, in. you know, yo, listen. You know what's crazy? You know. I, when she mentioned bathroom stall, that like took me back. I remember when I was a young boy, and um, I was messing with this married girl, but I was mm. young, young, and you know she was older than me. Mm. And um, I met her at the restaurant. We went to the restaurant, and she was like, "I'm also going to the bathroom." And she, I was like, "Oh shit, well, what?" But yes, we did. Went to the bathroom of the Midtown Diner down downtown. I could say a Midtown Diner too. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Right in the bathroom. Right. You no. have never done it in the bathroom. No. I call the Nile Swim Club. That is uh, in oh. what they call the county. And um, yeah. I was uh, out in the uh, park area got, on the, um, you know, the jungle pool. gym. And I was uh, <laughs> just, uh, you know. He was being a monkey. No. <laughs> I was just, you know, uh, chatting with a young lady. Um, His ass. <laughs> we were just talking and we were just enjoying each other. <laughs> Damn. And in the midst of enjoying each other, a little um, neighborhood street ball bra broke out between, I think it was like the Lansdowne and the Yaden boys. And so in the middle of like a real 40 man rumble, I'm, I was doing my own rumbling. <laughs> I got up like, what is going on? Oh, damn. This is a, this is a dang one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what's a freaky face you ever hey, done? Oh. Come on. I'm a, woman. a A lady that never tells, huh? Hey. You know what? Is Off it? air, we're going to find out. <laughs> That's what you BTS. said. BTS. We're going to find <laughs> out. Behind the scene. We're going to put that shit in the <laughs> No, y'all not. <laughs> if y'all hear us telling a crazy story about somebody named like, Charlene, <laughs> there you go. They, I have done it on wash machines. You know what? Machine was on. Oh yeah, okay. spin cycle, boo. Mm-hmm. I would say the most deadliest place up place I've ever done it was it was, it was with a girl. You sure? And, Why you had to say it? Don't play me like that. <laughs> I am super <laughs> paused. <laughs> I mean, we love and respect the LGBT. Yeah, you know I mean, so we we was getting in, and her daddy was sleeping in the living room you know the in the indoor the indoor closed porches that yep. we have in philly mm-hmm. yeah well i had her on the front door and i'm looking back making sure he don't wake up oh wow yeah it, boy now that was risky right there yeah. oh my gosh uh, how could you have torn it up if he ain't here enough well see back then i i, I could do like you 40 50 pumps too, damn too much you know what i mean right you know, see now i can only give you 20 pumps so oh, it ain't about the number. it's about the number it's, it's about, about number. the impact it's about the number hey from a female speaking is no wait a minute well, i thought females don't like grounding impactful pumps <laughs> i'm just saying you said <laughs> yeah, it's not about <laughs> the number just hey, your hey, podcast hey, hey, hey. too impactful <laughs> Cause I ain't even getting started yet. See, <laughs> that number See, matters. Fuck smoke grab like listen here, baby. You got to get the double D's. You got to get the double D's. <laughs> All right, this is your podcast, man. Let me make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Tell us what you think. We appreciate y'all for tuning in. <laughs> yeah, for sure. We uh, are we signed to number two. Okay. I'm number two, man. Let's get this thing here popping. Mm. It's this John podcast. Mm. Let's go. I left my boyfriend and I've been traveling for 10 days and I've slept okay. with 22 people in that oh, 10 days. Oh, I know. It's that my goal night, was 20 night. and I just hit 20 this morning. It's 1 p.m. now here in Paris and I need to check out because I'm going home. I really doubt I'm going to get another one on the board either on the plane or like on my layover. So I think 22 mm. is where we're going to cap it out. But how did I go? Oh, yeah, shit. Right. Oh shit. Listen, listen, she make a squeeze another one in and I'm the bell hop, the bell hop, you can bend over real quick. Boom, boom, boom. When I was in my backslide, 10 days. When I was today, in my backslide days, where were these women at when I was in my was backslide? Around. Not was around. like this. They wasn't just yes, coming they was. out. They just, they didn't make it, no, make but it that's known. But that's what I mean. Where are the women that saying, hey, Come up to I my bumper, baby. Delivered. I said back in the day. Not yeah, he, he delivered. <laughs> he <all right>. delivered. <laughs> no, I'm, no, I'm he, he delivering. <laughs> not anymore. I've I've turned in my uh, my jersey. But, um, <laughs> hey, wait, wait, you wait, retire wait. now. Oh, yes, I'm retired. Wait a minute. No, come on. What? Come what on. What? Think? What do you think? No, I don't think she did it. You don't think she did it? I don't know, 
but because basically she that's basically two guys in paris you could do two guys at the same time yeah i don't know everybody different but i know she got to be walking funny because she got to be hurting Ooh, maybe she put nah, that nah, thing. Nah, nah, maybe she put that thing on ice. If she wasn't fucking with like the man, sh- yeah, if she wasn't messing point? with the man, Dingo, if she ain't, ain't gonna, walking if, you, if it's not gonna, hmm. what? what? Don't clam so, up now. So, don't and don't ever hold your peace. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't hold my peace. Mm. I don't know. For me, it's just, it's just about value. I just it's not about qual quantity. It's about mm-hmm. quality. So I mean, these last two girls that you just showed videos of, I just can't. I just don't relate at all. Whatsoever. Well, fun, you know they what? Trying to have a little fun, who was it? Cindy Lauper. You know what I mean? Sure fun. Want... I don't know if that's Cindy Lauper. Oh, they want to. You, you, I'm, I'm gonna tell you what I think. I'm gonna what? tell you. I'm gonna tell you what I think. I'm gonna tell you what I think. I think that she just broke up with a boyfriend. She said that. Oh, she did. Oh, oh boyfriend. Oh, oh, then uh, th- so that, was, that was revenge. So yeah, that, that was some sort of revenge. She's not with him. That's because, not revenge. Because because that's what young women think about. They think that they can get it. They think she they think they're getting back at the man. All these more. other men. Ladies room. <laughs> she be back real soon. She said, "I'm out here." <laughs> Jeremy, his name probably Jeremy. <laughs> Jeremy <laughs> broke her heart. <laughs> She's out in Paris getting uh wee wee. So. Listen, just like Bernard said. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes when we go through our little stuff, mm-hmm. yeah, we do. We may jump around a tad bit. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just on a long oh. music. Oh, y'all stupid! <laughs> is that true what they say? What? Uh, the quickest way to get over a man is to get under another one. I was just asking. No, so okay, on the surface level, yes, hey. because it, it hey, hey, it takes it wait, takes wait, your wait, mind wait, did away. You said on a therapist level. Oh, I do said therapist. Surface. On the surface level, yes, it's a temporary fix. So yeah, you know what? I'm hurting right now. Let me just go get me some dick right quick. And you know what? And hey, what did Jada Pinkett say? <laughs> just call me Dickamos. What did Jada Pinkett say? Not Dominoes, but Dickamos. <laughs> I'm delivering dick. <laughs> at the end of the day, no, that does not fix anything. But, what did Jada Pinkett say? I'm in a bond, Nate. I'm in a bond, Nate. So when Nate was there, <laughs> listen. It, sometimes you just I'm in a bond, Nate, and so she just need to be uh pleasured. And sometimes you just gotta make that phone call, like who? She just needed a, an abundance. No, so my thing is, it's like the amount of people she needed. So, okay, she probably can do. She probably do like variety. One of thirty-one oh, flavors. I mean, oh, but look, listen. Let me let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Out of those twenty, how many? She said out days. of the twenty-two guys. She wasn't fucking with no mandingos. Maybe man, man, mandingos would have tore it up. We we would have soared it up. But maybe you know she, when that shit soared, like, she we would have soared it up. She got to be walking. Yeah, through. she was. She was messing with the like but those again, those two three I inches. Have maybe white male. So I don't know what white males. But maybe she just maybe she a Viking and she just know how to take it. Maybe she said, "Listen." Maybe she, after she got done that day, she went and put that thing on ice like a shrimp cocktail, Damn. and you know, got it ready for the <laughs> shrimp cocktail. <laughs> yeah. mm. I need to eat this marinara so <laughs> Oh, y'all crazy! Y'all. <laughs> we on fire tonight. <laughs> we on fire. No, you on fire tonight? Fire right. department and put him out. Put him- like I said, she wasn't. I mean, come on. If she messed with five man dingles, they'd have tore that coochie up, boy. Yep. Yeah. Try that shit in Africa. Oh, Try that shit in Africa. So See what happens. You go on vacation. Every normally people have an itinerary. Some people go on. Um, uh, they go on the, the yeah, tour. Course, they go tour the place. The you know, some people <laughs> stay at the resort, get drunk. I'm some sorry, people, I'm not, you I'm know, not perfect she, she might have been um, searching for. She wasn't searching for shit. She <laughs> wasn't. She had a thirst for that <laughs> to be quenched. Yeah. Her appetite, she has a big appetite. Let's say yeah, that. Fucking big appetite, and I don't do that. Not you don't have a big appetite lady. for that, though. You, you're right. I'm sorry. I did I'm not. Reserved. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, God damn. Opposite. That's the last time I take up a fish joint podcast. Hey. Let me sip on my, yes, my yes, wood sip. fork. Yes, you know I got the wood fork in my new cup. Incognito. I mean, yeah, I mean, look, no I face, no trace. Some wood fork over there last week. You gave me. I don't oh, drink that stuff. Y'all can have it. Y'all can have that. Okay. I started up when we so. Oh yeah, I'm, oh we partying. Okay. We want some We gonna do an episode and then we gonna go out and hang out. Oh. Hey CJ, tell him I don't hear no bullshit. Mm. Oh man, I'm gonna have to have a nap. Take a uh, nap. Uh, <laughs> come on. We're that already. sound like some 55 year old yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. No, no disrespect yeah. to the 55 year olds. <laughs> this is episode 89. We almost there. Uh-huh. We almost there. It's Eleven. We almost Lucky there. Number eleven. Okay. That's my birthday, though. Yeah, uh-huh. my man, birthday. Listen, make sure I wish him happy birthday yes. in the comments section. Yes. Yeah, I appreciate y'all. Yeah, drop a like. Do you, you know think? Oh no, we gonna know. 
You I already see. looked in your purse when you went to the bathroom. Because I had my pocketbook with me. Oh, you shit. give all very Leo vibes <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> very Leo vibes. Gee, I did, yeah, I'm taking it tonight. Nah, I'm not confirming or denying. Okay. Oh, my God, man. Shall we go to the next question? All right, man. I ain't let peanut. <laughs> yeah. It's this podcast. Oh, oh. Peanut. peanut to shit. Let's go. What, what, what question are you asking me? Ask a question. Ask what? I'm, I'm asking, <laughs> why are you mad? Because I posted a filter. He tipsy. Filters, it's not real. It's bullshit. It's a sell of product of something that you're not. So you're telling everybody they're supposed <laughs> that you're to be something not. that they are. <laughs> Stop selling this bullshit to people. Look, so you, you're mad because I posted a The most natural I black mean. woman is the most beautiful black woman. Yes. Your imperfections hey, is Here you go. We are beautiful. I'm, I'm, Black I'm recording beautiful. you because I'm trying to figure out why. I'm actually honey. Oh, <laughs> so, I posted a TikTok. Because, I, I because used, you I, know what? Can I finish my sentence? I use the TikTok filter. Use the TikTok filter. Yeah, yeah, use it. To look like what? Yeah, it is. No, it, 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 to do what? But it's not that. Oh, yeah, he's drunk. Look at him. Remove from what? Remove from what I look like. What was he drinking? Just, I, look like I, I don't know. I'm going to get some. So you think black women and white and women? Far, no, it's all y'all. It's far removed from what the man lays down with. Mm. And what you wake up with. Mm. I mean, he and got some validity to it. Yeah. With children, not children, whatever. What the hell are you asking me? What is reality to, to you? But it's a filter. Of what? It's just uh, fun. A reality? <laughs> fun. It's just games. No. Yeah. Yeah, he drunk. Yeah, you can't get me on this. You will never post this shit. Come on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. It's time for the percolator. Oh God! Now you know what I mean. In, in a way, I, I I do agree with them. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah it, it's something that it wouldn't it wouldn't bother me if, if my wife was doing it. But now, if you was trying to to get a man or to try to catch or entice a man, it bother me yeah, because, because when you know when I when I see you. I want to look at my phone and see that's the same girl on my phone. Right. And that's a lot of times what guys complain about that when they meet these girls, they look like trash because yeah. their pictures is, is like a total opposite of what they actually really look like in reality. So. I, I seen I seen a, a video where this man and this woman were going back and forth and they was talking about like, you know, different things that you know change people and uh, and the lady was arguing with the man and she said i mean makeup is the same thing as a haircut and the guy said no that's not true he said a haircut enhances a man makeup hides the woman which is to me oh, true well, no, not yeah. really it depends so know. let me just say this as a, as a woman it depends on how much makeup i'm just i mean we talking about what the odds okay. that yeah because you you I've seen them make you no know, uh, women who would not be considered uh, very attractive yeah. in the marketplace. Yeah, I, I've, I've seen, seen them that. go from and that to yeah. to right. supermodel. Right. They do. Yeah, trust me, because no, I would get don't. my hairline but painted I on it. To, like pictures and videos of guys getting like the little man weave though. No, that's different. Okay, see, we're not talking about no, because they do. They be looking totally uh, different. Uh, 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 they be looking uh, old uh, as hell uh, 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 before uh, before that transformation. I'm, I'm not gonna let you be blasphemous on this microphone. What? <laughs> Us real men, we ain't get man weaves. We're not getting say, beard weaves. Well, Some men, I didn't it, say whether it's uh, a real they, man or not. They, I'm just they saying. not. No, I'm, I'm gonna go out on the record. They ain't real men. Okay. You see, okay. Steve Harvey got rid they of that piece. Men, you see, he got rid of the piece. Cause we, we don't do that. If, if your hairline is going back like traffic, it's Baby okay. You just keep Damn. it. Listen, <laughs> there's bald dudes out there that's that's successful. Steve Harvey, DMX, Ja Rule. Like we got some some got guys. Some DMX soul. But 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 Steve Harvey, when he was faking a phone, that dumbass piece of carpet off his head because he knew yeah. he wasn't a real one until he. The thing about it, his career was okay. He took that rug off and then boom, now he went to the stratosphere. See. You just had to keep it real. So, again, at the end of the day, if she wants to, you know, put the filter on to just play around with. Girls do. They, they play around with it. But sometimes why you know, a lot of these girls, they that's their life. Validation from outside sources 
for their like own i guess self-esteem no, it's not just women it's men too topic we're here talking about this woman and these oh. filters why do women do i don't see too many men posting pictures with filters with fake abs on their <laughs> instagram say yo i'll be at the beach well, come all at me can't speak but for the women i don't even get on social media so, so you don't count say. but so, yeah. uh also, but you know what? Let me... I don't really wear makeup. The most that I'll do is probably some eyeliner, some lipstick. Call it a day. But now, th let me ask you. See, this is shit that cracks me up. And when you get on these podcasts, and 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 the women ask the men, or a podcast host will ask the men questions about like, you know, I mean, do you like BBLs? Do you like makeup? And and we say no. But these women continuously to still put on all the makeup. I honestly get think all the people. I mean, I don't understand. It is. Yeah, I, I think it's theme, and then women competing against other women. Right. It, it it's not for us when we're telling you exactly what we like. But then also at the same time, once again, because I think we had this topic before. I think a lot of women are going based on what a lot of guys are responding to on social media the women with the with the big butts the women because, with all the because the women the women are not understanding that there's a difference between fantasy and reality and fantasy fantasy is stuff that you just is a part of your wildest dreams so when a man says like oh man rihanna the average man ain't never gonna get rihanna but that's the fantasy of you wanting to be with rihanna so when you see the bbls when you see the girls with the like literally perfect bodies or what they consider perfect bodies that's that is just perfect. fantasy when she has what is it 36 24 36 that's fantasy because that's not the average person so the fantasy is tied to sexual pleasure and that's what most men want that fantasy for to have sexual pleasure the average man is not who's looking for a woman that's not on his priority list if she got a bbl again i've never heard a man say you know what yeah bro i couldn't smash her last night why oh man her eyebrows her eyelashes and her, her wig was not it wasn't wigging i'm cool what? no man has ever <laughs> said that the wig ain't wig. Yeah, like no, no men ever said that. So that all be for women be doing that for them. Again, men will uh, hit a woman with, with missing three teeth on the side oh and and a, and a small braid on the top that's that keep <laughs> the wig on. Listen, that, listen I, I ain't old. I mean, I've 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 hit some toothless women before. What? I know men. What hit, they give what? the best well, I was gummies? About to say, exactly. I was about to say. What? That. Listen, <laughs> look. I mean, I can't. I can't compete nah, or can't. compare because I mean, you I have know. all my teeth. A well, toothless man. I know some boys that hit a stone cold crackhead. She is a real life Ooh. crackhead and they smashed her. Ooh. So that tells you that it, it, that's all yeah. you let. But it tells you like most men that we don't really care, especially the woman that you with. Most I care. Clarify that. We, again, we like it, but it's not a, it's not a priority. Oh. For to have uh, eyebrows, eyelashes, nails done and all. We don't care about that. We might not want your nails to be dirty or your hands to be dirty, but we don't care if you got two rhinestones on your middle finger and a, and three three tiger strokes on your pinky finger. Like, we don't care about none of that. See, it's not for nobody yeah. else. I do for me. So that's the difference between men and women. But I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not talking about a real woman. Okay. Because yes. I'm sure a real woman, you want to make sure your man is, is clean, he's smelling good, he's right. looking good. Come on. Come on, man. Come on, man. But the standards are different. And you know the standards are different. It's always a double standard. That's a, that's with everything. I hate that. I mean, not I mean, some stuff. I you know some stuff. But, but I'm going to tell you, but nobody gives the best chewy than a teethless, a teethless woman. Man, you be on the hunt. <laughs> See, you about to this make him be podcast. undelivered because he keeps talking about being delivered. My birthday coming <laughs> up. He about to cut up. You know nah. what? CJ's yeah. birthday is Sunday, y'all. He, he, he ready to cut let, up. Let me tell you something. He ready you, to cut up. You order Domino's? Or let me rephrase it. You order Dicamo's? <laughs> When they open that piece of box, it's CJ dancing <laughs> like this. I'm chilling. It's CJ. They open that piece of box, it's CJ like this. You going around doing like, oh my God. Doing my own fans. I do my up close and personal. You don't got to see me on the internet. Oh my God. Man. Telegrams. That's what you do, CJ? Yeah. Come on down the streets. Oh, that's, that's your second job. Third job, fourth job. Don't knock the hustle. I, I, <laughs> the man got to make money, God How damn much it. money you make? I might join. Hey, hey. Shit, open up, open up the pizza box. <laughs> <laughs> it's titty moles. <laughs> titty moles. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. You a 
was a mess. Yo, show us out to the next video, yo. Okay. <laughs> Think of Moe's into the Moe's. <laughs> oh, shit. Fish jump pass. Oh. Let's go. Said men shouldn't open up to women. Oh, this is my show. This them. is my he show. Said, Whenever something go down, they're going to throw it back in your face. Mm. Do y'all agree? OJ first. Mm. OJ first. <laughs> oh, wow. When you say my man OJ, women, y'all. I don't know what he's talking about. Emotional. Is he talking about confession? <laughs> Look, he know firsthand the shit this guy You know OJ ain't confessing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, 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 I think he's right. Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. <laughs> don't say nothing. He said, don't, don't say, say nothing. nothing. <laughs> <laughs> So leave me out of the confession. Oh, they say I ain't confessing oh, this no, shit. OJ, get off the screen. OJ, need to get off the screen. Uh, yeah, look at Kim is cracking up. Leave me out of this. Did all these episodes? <laughs> 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 Y'all look, look, he, he done lived it. He know. He yeah, know. Man. Oh, poor Yo, OJ. They can't even get through the interview. That man is scarred. Yo, oh, kill a birthday. This is classic. Swine. Yeah. Oh, this is the blue blueberry juice that kicked in. Oh, <laughs> he said the blueberry oh, juice that nice. kicked in. All right, listen, man. First, I want to. I'm gonna say I am a big fan. Shout it out. is what it is, Shout man. Out to it is what it is, man. I'm a big fan. I mean, listen. I love the fact that us black men can create something and really get paid for the shit. And not only that, put your passion in your heart. Yes. And not only yeah. that, like another thing that shows is like as black men, we can overcome you know different differences that we mm-hmm. might have had in the past. Because mm-hmm. yeah, them two guys. For about yep. 20 years, they ain't talk. They didn't speak to each other right. for different reasons. So to see them come back and make this podcast and it's, and it be successful after whatever their falling out was, like that that that's a testament to like real manhood. Yeah, it, let me give it to them. Cam and Mace, man. And you know, yo, they that's slid in maturity right there. And you know, crazy it, when they when they came in, they got interviews that other reporters and I'm journalists. They are journalists. journalists. Hey, journalists could not get. And it was a lot of white journalists that was that was jealous, hating. Hey. That was hating the hustle, and not the hustle. You know what I mean, man? It is what it is. Fire million dollars worth of game. Fire Joe yeah. Button's podcast. Fire. I mean, listen. I mean, yo, us black men, man. We we can imitate drink champs. Yeah, drink, drink champs. Yep. Yeah, I mean, look, twenty twenty four is about to be the black podcast era, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, hold up, hold up, hold up, though. OJ was on some bullshit. Yo. <laughs> Let's just get straight to it, okay? First of all, OJ Wait, was speaking facts. He was. He was speaking facts. He said, he said I don't come. Hold up, but his facts was based on his experience. Yeah. So not all women, but yes, from what I have experienced, a lot of women are petty like that. But I wouldn't be confessing them either. Hold on, hold on. Oh, uh, T, let me ask you. And we're going straight for the juggler. Uh-oh. You think OJ did it? Oh, man. I think water is wet. Serious, no. Do you? <laughs> Do you you think OJ did it? No glove don't agree. fit. The glove don't fit. You must say really think OJ did it. No. He just as guilty as R. Kelly. Damn. Wait a minute. He had to bring R. Kelly into this. Yeah, they both feel Look, I don't want to face the fact. I really don't. Face it. Nah, I don't want to. Who? Both of them. AJ nothing but a number. AJ nothing. He also wrote the song. The song said. It seems like you're ready. That I can't even listen to that no more. Like you're ready. That's just weird. But anyway, back to uh, OJ. Well, back then, then, like yeah, he he, eighty years old, still talking. Yeah, y'all know I killed her, right? Man. <laughs> now, you know what? He he got away with it. But first I, of all, that that's what that laugh was all about, too. I, I'm, I'm the way a, he was only laughing, black man in history. To, man, <laughs> get away with murder <laughs> on a white woman. I, I don't get away with murder. I'm a, I don't think he did it, but I think he hired somebody to do it. I think OJ was right there. He might he might not have actually stabbed her. Right. Yeah. He was there. Um yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I believe he was there. I don't think he actually physically did it, but I think he was there. Like she came <laughs> unconscious and then somebody came and finished it off. Like, <laughs> Damn. He was there though. Yeah, cuz why go on that whole that whole chase? For what? Like what was that for? That's that's just that's just the guilt talking right but, there. But you know, regardless of all that, I we remember that. But forget OJ. Do y'all think that a man should open up to a woman? Well, 
I see it two ways. All right. Number yeah. one, you have to find a woman that that you can is trust. mature. Number one, right? Again, that covers all bases because right. a mature okay. woman is is not going to go around your telling business. your business or right. throwing it back in your mm-hmm. face. So, um, what it is is after you find a mature woman, or maybe even before. You want to make sure you're with a healed woman. Right. Because if she's not okay. healed and she has traumas or she has her own experiences or whatever, when she's triggered, she automatically she's going to yep. do. Remember you was crying over yep. there in the corner because your aunt died, you little bitch. <laughs> Ooh, shit. That's behavior of a, a OJ person. OJ all over again. That's, a, okay. yeah, that's the behavior of a person who's not we'll healed. Call that CJ. Oh, don't put that on me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm not OJ. And I, I, listen, I've had that happen to me before where I've shared things. and That's crazy. One woman. Yeah, but that's a that's that the behavior hurts. of a, a people like that. Yeah. If you ain't healed, you know, Philadelphia and we're from Philly is a defensive city, and not only defensive physically, but defensive emotionally. Yep. Like the minute the, you the, say something, somebody's all automatic. I gotta like, get. Oh. I gotta cut just as deep as you do. Right. I mean, I get it. So, what, what do you think? I agree with CJ because my thing is, is like, and and I've experienced that, and not from a me- from a woman, but from a man. Yes. Yeah. Do shit back up in your face. Yeah, and I'm the type of person I don't tell. Negroes I don't tell my business, but here it is. I told somebody something, and here he go. He got mad and literally throwing everything up, everything. Wow. Wow. Oh yeah. And you know anybody that knows me, my sister passed away. You know, like 15 years ago, and he literally like, how you gonna throw up? Oh yeah, that's why your sister. Yeah. Never mind. I don't want to get into that part. Because I mean, I, I come from like a military family, so you know, I mean, my my, my grandfather's in the military, my uncles are are in the military, and so it was all about men just being so stern. You know, what I mean, not letting anyone know they feel it, or not letting anyone know that they're yeah, they're hurting. Have someone that. So it's it's kind of like a catch twenty two because it's like as men we don't know where we should be when it comes to women. Cause it's like, you ask me, oh, you see, you not, you're not emotional, you're not affectionate, you're not this and not that. But then on the flip side, what men are, it's like, oh, you soft, you ain't supposed yeah, to be yeah. doing yeah, so. Be. Dealing with. You don't okay, know where you're being. Said if you're dealing with someone that's healed, they're not gonna, they're not gonna throw that. But I'm, you know? but I'm saying sometimes it starts from from childhood. Your mama's like that. So normally they say that that like the way you grew up, that's kind of like the. Uh, the, the man or the woman that you'll you know eventually take on so if your if your mom if you're a man and your mom was that emotionally I neglected that. What, because that? if it's at the, choose the opposite especially if my father or mother was not you know supportive or so let me ask you a question in your dating life and i don't know your father just think about your father's we'll say his flaws or his the traits where he could have been uh, improved in mm-hmm. have you ever dated a man who's had those similar traits um, ever i don't have to think about that yeah, i never yeah, thought about yeah. that i don't know I have to yeah because some, you know, sometimes it's, it's like subconsciously you don't even know yeah that's you, how did, my head and he just like my dad you know what let me i, I just want to add this before we slide on you know, I, mean, I hear like a lot of women say well you know men are broken men are this men are that but keep in mind that the first woman a man encounters is his mother and vice versa encounters is her father and that's what, what that's how we're taught but, but let me just give a little caveat it's much more likely for a, a man to encounter his mother than it is for a woman to encounter her father because it was a lot of fatherless households so sometimes and fathers are working right where some women the the first man they might have met is you know mr john a mom boyfriend and then this person or another, uncle man, or so. another man that's a little bit different in you know perspective of that so i mean i, I mean on it, it, it's a whole lot yeah it is it is you never know but any anyway just your podcast I, I gotta represent for sure today anywho <laughs> anywho shout out to my sister Shar. <laughs> yeah i had to represent yeah, for man, sure. anywho hey this your podcast y'all make sure you drop a like drop a comment and tell us what you like, think comment subscribe shall we slide to that next one let's y'all? go yeah let's dip out this jump podcast. Oh, let's go. Why you pop yours? You ain't fucking with me. Oh, he said you ain't fucking oh, with on. me. Let me go ahead. Go oh, on no. back. I'm 26. Just, you, okay, I'm and sure you, your baby. And you, and you talk like my little brother. I Where feel like I'm from? talking to my little Chicago as well. Oh, isn't that crazy? 
Okay. Yeah, you're very gorgeous though, but I don't like that you put the fake flower in your vest trying to make it look better than what it was. Yeah. I don't like that you Why she trying to like play him like that? In there. And it's Why is she judging him? Also, I don't like that the fact that you put your hair. Yeah, and see, you know what? She's going to stay single. Uh huh. Fake briefcase. I mean, the hair done. It's done. It's done. So why didn't you show your hair? Because I don't want to. Right. I just want to see you. Why you got I that dumbass ponytail? I'm about to kill you. I'm going to grind her up. You feel me? She's about to grind her up. You feel me? Me and your brother probably sound alike because we done been through the same struggles. You feel me? But I could respect that. I just wanted to know what you was thinking about. That's all that was. It's just weird talking to my little brother sometimes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No problem. He's not even talking to my little brother. He's 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 talking to I can respect I that. just want a man with a higher vocabulary, okay. which you don't have. How the fuck you got a higher wow. vocabulary? Oh, let me stop. Wow. What is day to day speech? Man. speech? Speaking to all the other women, trust. I know. You're good. I, 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 I talk like where I was born from. I got, I got a real, like, Respect. I, I can't let you. You like, got the audacity. Down what I've been through. I want to explain my shit. I want to explain myself. You, 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 you tried though, darling. No, you feel that. me? So I want you to know, like, I'm really from struggle. I, I speak a certain type of way. You know but what? I, I gotta give him his, his respect. I, yeah. yeah. That's that's like, he, you feel me? What I, what I do right <laughs> he's now. He's holding his composure very well. I don't want you to just throw shade. Because I would have started flopping off his mouth like this. I speak with a little slang. I got a little hood to me, but I'm educated, baby. No, that's fine. We can move forward. Thank you. Okay. Right. Let's Put that bitch in her place. Three ladies. He said definitely. Hold on. Never no, hold up. Let me give it to the man. The young brother right there. You know why? Because because he held his composure and he told her exactly what what he was thinking. You know what? The shit that cracks me up is now. Yeah, of course you know she did good. I'm gonna let him get his part on. Mama. Let me say this. <laughs> let, let, let let me say this. I have a bachelor's in communications. I have a master's in, in uh, psych psychological as well as behavioral health. You see the plaques on the yeah. wall, but, but I'm still hood. I I'm still hood. And the shit that cracks me up is a lot of people that I have encountered o over my years is the first thing they think is, oh man, this is my best. Automatically judging you. Yeah. But don't get it twisted. I knock a nigga clean the fuck out. The word like colloquialism, and you don't even know what it means. You don't know what it means. Shut your ass right. up. Right. Hey, who's more educated? Exactly. So all that big word alert that she's looking for, you could tell. You could tell she yeah, don't know the what the fuck. She's, she don't know, she don't know what do. she's talking first about. Of first of all, if you're trying to date somebody, what does his verbiage have to do with his heart? Let's just say, let's let's. Be what does it have to do with his emotions or or his education? But I'm saying, what does that have because, to do with uh, him listen, in general? Because let me tell you, I know his education don't help you and 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 uh, give to you emotionally. What does that have to do now, with anything? I know doctors, I know psychologists, psychiatrists that still enough. talk hood. But, but um, even when, I know doc that listen, doctors that are that are ignorant. Yeah, as hell listen, too. When, when you get around your environment, let me tell you something. You can go to work. And talk that talk at the job. Right. But when you get home, because exactly. I do it. The when I get home, the day. ghetto come out. <laughs> I'm not talking that same talk I'm talking when I'm talking to a yes, family. Because Listen. when I'm at work, hey. if anybody know me, hi, how can I help you? Yeah. Yes. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Listen, man. Right, there you go. At 9 13, you get, hey, how are you? How was your night? <laughs> at 5 45. Yes, yes, you are absolutely correct. How can I help you today? For, yes. Listen, first that's, of all, try to come to, oh, I don't like you got a hat on, okay? The hat She's just fit. don't even know yes, you. Yes, that was the outfit you wanted to wear the hat. And then the dress looked like it came from the $10, the $10 spot dollar. What, 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 what the briefcase? She don't, he could have had 10 racks. In well, the, first of all, what is a fake briefcase? Never heard that before. So she sounded, nah. so she's talking about education. She sound dumb right there. Number two, she had that long, dumb ass ponytail. <laughs> ponytail, same you height do, as her. You. And then she had had that one dumb ass baby here on her forehead. Uh -oh, Y'all go back uh -oh, in the know, video. You know. She had that one stupid ass. It wasn't even a regular one. It was like a little puff the magic dragon looking girl. She don't sit your ass down and go get you some melanin. Puff the magic dragon. Like, come on. Like, you coming at that man. Okay, if you didn't like his outfit, you could have just said, oh no. You tried to really break him down. And just right. because he's from, from where she he's from, try. what did I got to do with it? You anything? know what? And he proved her wrong. Because he's still, big, he's yeah. still his I gotta give him that. That dumb ass yeah, I, well, He wasn't disrespectful. At 26, Man. she would have got grinded up. Like, the, the older me, I would have just let her live. Twenty six, so ignorant. And you look like you look like my cat Snowball, <laughs> furry, you know just what, like you. You know what? Listen, that that comes that proves how 
a lot of these women think that they are superior. Yeah, that's because they men because they have. But it's 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 our fault. And I'm talking about our gender because you got a lot of simps and a lot of weirdos that be in her DM telling her that she is the next thing to, to Rihanna. Probably, yeah. And that's why she thinks that she's the 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 God's given the yeah. woman. Mm, like, yeah. girl, to yeah. most of them women up there, she was she was mid to me. First of all, when I seen the other women, I'm like, all, oh, the yeah, other she women was looking at her like, what the hell? Yeah, they was like, like, like don't I ain't popping because of that. Right. <laughs> you popped the balloon yeah, more. I can speak for uh, for most of the women right here in this line. And the other women was looking like, little brother, what? So what? I don't control my voice, you weirdo? Like, and, yeah, I mean, listen, but before we move on, I used to carry a briefcase, a briefcase when I was young because my grandfather, he'd always been dressed professional, look good, smell good. Mm -hmm. So I should carry a briefcase. It, it should be like small stuff like my wallet or like um, the mail that I picked up walking out the house. Yeah, my dad used to. Carry you know what I'm saying? So because it it made me feel good. But when you come across a, a, a someone like that, who always try to break you down? No, man, you you, you don't need that type of woman in your life. Well, she wasn't a woman. Kick no, she was she, a kid. She, she, she was a little girl, just like she tried to play uh, play him, like he he was. She was talking to her little brother. I would have asked her, "Where do you work at?" And she would have been like, "Oh, AutoZone." I like, <laughs> he said, "AutoZone." <laughs> McDonald's. <laughs> Damn. How can I help you? You ain't, you don't even need a briefcase at your job. <laughs> Like, go put bitch. your uniform shirt like, on and get out my face. I like me. Go get me some motherfucking brake pads. <laughs> Come out here and, and hook this thing up to my car to see why my check engine light just came. <laughs> this your podcast, man. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. Tell us what you think. Oh, I gotta give a, a birthday shout out. Uh, uh, happy belated birthday, Mickey. She tunes into the show. It was her birthday yesterday. Oh, so. Come on, let's get this. Happy yeah. birthday, Mickey. happy birthday, Mickey. Hey, I know for sure. We're going to start having, like, call-ins, man. Yeah. Oh, okay. already, listen, I already got set up. But I just want to make sure. I want to wait. Y'all ready and, for that? Yeah. I, 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 mm -hmm. Listen, look, I want to wait till we at least get to, like, about 20, 30 viewers. Mm. That way that way, people can start calling in, mm -hmm. man. Y'all can call in and talk that talk. All talk that, that talk, be man. But I'm going to tell you, I know. It, motherfuckers be waiting to get in the comments and talk that bullshit. Oh, I know. They wait to get in the comments. They don't want to talk the shit while we live on air. They want to wait to get in the comments and talk that bullshit. Is that I'm that I'm not here? Oh yeah, I'll be calling in. You know how I be internet trolling. What? Oh, yeah, shit starter, y'all. Yeah, she is. Whatever. Angel. Don't let the angel shit. You know what? What, what did you say? What, what, what? What's the devil and angel? I said, look at my halo. Yeah. Halo. She ain't, she ain't Lucifer. But she Lucy, <laughs> Lucy with the fur. <laughs> <laughs> Lucy with the fur. Haters, haters, haters. haters. You know what? Let me tell you something. She thinks she's slick. Oh, what I do? CJ. Okay. She's trying to build up a nice little clientele followers. No, I'm not. So, so that when she step outside. Yeah, right. She, she went, <laughs> Let me tell huh. you something. No, no, no. I it, done had my share of stalkers. No for at home, huh? Hell no. I don't I'm want a, nobody to know it. And you're like, damn, 15? <laughs> Just to her making up numbers. No, about three or four. Get the yeah. fuck out of here. Damn. Yeah. See, that's Let's what happened. Look, one. I tell them all the time. Yeah. Stop giving out the platinum package. Oh, Stop okay. giving out the Erica Badu. Yeah. You know <laughs> Start giving out the uh the Instagram model. Yeah. <laughs> hey, they give out them platinum packages yeah. until that man be uh, all up on their top. Up, I'm emotional. <laughs> I'm crying. Uh, first of all, that's shit is it's scary. People get crazy. Well, as a matter of fact, they already crazy. But once they start doing all that, yeah. it's just the true colors start showing. Don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. Send bring him over here. Mm -hmm. You got the band there, yo man. You fuck with my sister? Oh no, I'll do that myself. Next, next, next video. video. <laughs> 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 it's like, it's like peanut. It's Fish Jump Podcast. Damn. <laughs> <Tail. laughs> <laughs> Let's go. You are not going to tell me that the only thing a man gets from a woman is nasty sex. How am I not going to tell now you what's that? What's wrong with that? Okay. So you tell me what man feel Ooh. he get. No, oh, since hot. you know what a man feel, a man get. Tell me what a man feels he get. I tell me. I love that y'all making the point. He tell must me have was drinking what a man too. Feels he get, Azar. Tell I'm me. not a man. So Come I'm on, Azar. I'm up out of here. Damn. 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 When the last time he had nasty? Damn. He probably. I don't think he ever had any for he him to was respond upset. like that. Not wrong with the nasty sloppy he's, set. He's, What's he's, what, he's, what has your britches in a bunch, my man? Hey. He is, what do they say? He, he is perturbed. Let me tell you something. I don't know him. He don't know where I'm at. Where about him stalking? 
You see, you see how frustrated he got? <laughs> he be banging on that the door. That man got frustrated. God damn it, where's the nasty sex at? <laughs> said you said you gonna get I done walked all the way here from Milwaukee. <laughs> you tell me, T. Where's the nasty sex at? <laughs> he was upset. Damn. <laughs> you know what? The point he was trying to make is about these women trying to tell men how other men think. Mm -hmm. You can't tell a man how another man thinks. First of all, you can't thing. tell anybody how a man no. thinks because you don't know how a man no. thinks. That's the weirdest thing. I'm like, how are you going to tell me? Well, because yeah, I you know, know y'all men. Y'all men be I like. I don't like person. I want to know what a man thinks. But I need for men to open up sometimes and, and be honest. What like, did Shaq say? We can't open up because y'all going to use it no, against us. No, see, I'm not that. Like, if I ask a question, I'm asking because I want to know. I, I think that men will open up once they get comfortable with that woman. Now. I don't, if, don't if be lying you, either. No, because you, I'm the type of person. I, my intuition tells me, and I can, I can, I can sense right through that. No, no. But if you throw it up in his face, you throw anything. Oh, he will not open up ever again. Yeah, I know. I, person, you know what? Crazy? That could be any man. He will not. You know what? I got you trick. <laughs> I see what type of shit you on. Yeah, you know I mean, but the problem that I have with is, is I have a few friends who have dealt with or married the wrong type of female, open up to the female, then they get their heart broke. And no, then, he, because you, and then you these motherfuckers what? call me, complain, like, yo, bro, keep doing this shit. Yeah, you keep doing this shit over, them. yep. Keep doing this shit over and over again, dog. I'm, I'm pretty sure that it's not the first time. I'm like the it's ice not. cream machine at right. McDonald's. You're right, What you broke? I'm always closed. That mo he always broken. <laughs> Look, I'm that's closed. what I'm thinking. You that, ice cream machine, that machine is closed. Listen, it's broken. No, con contrary. What flavors you got? Contrary to what y'all believe, that machine don't be broken. They just don't be feel like making them joints. So they, they got some shit. But again, like at the end of the day, as men, it's hard to you. I mean, you don't know because again, you don't know until you get into that situation. So like, what I always ask women is like, when you upset, like, what's your what's your upset like? And you know women mm -hmm. They love to talk about it So look Cause when I get upset Listen I be shooting my oh, shoot, You giving me What level boy. you gonna be on So that's, that, that's crazy right there Or whatever level you tell me I I can interpret that Into okay yeah. You would throw it in my face Or if, if I ask you Well how angry you get And you like well I really don't try to get angry I try to figure it out da, da. And it's like okay Maybe we'll see When we get there But mm -hmm. okay. most women Will tell on themselves Yeah oh, oh yeah Cause I'm gonna punch you In the face yeah, but Oh if you gonna punch me you gotta, you, you gotta pay attention To tell actions me. Actions is gonna speak Louder than words Because at the end of the day Somebody can tell you One thing But then their actions Can, can be something Totally yeah. different so that's why I, some, sometimes I just don't ask certain questions. I just let it play out because a person's true colors is always going to come out no matter what they tell you. Fellas, I don't know what your budgets look out, look like out there. Get you a therapist. That way, you need not worry about telling her. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Take, take it to your therapist. Oh, come home. Married. You saying that the man is not supposed to speak to his wife? Feels like she's going to throw it up in his face. I'm not. Marry somebody like that. Change. She know, might, she might have not been love. Sometimes it's, you got to be more than just love, though. It's not just about just love. Yeah, I mean, love make you do stupid shit. <laughs> love is blind. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, man, I hate this motherfucker, but I love this motherfucker. <laughs> I refuse to be miserable. You mean tell me you was not, you have never been in love with a person that you never have, but I've changed. But everybody has flaws. Everybody has flaws. You know, hold on, CJ. I mean, I. So, at, <laughs> at, at, are you okay? Yep, I'm good. Telling lies. Is what <laughs> so, you mean tell me I so? I do not lie. So, at that your was age, a lie right there. At your age. I uh, don't. If a man dingo came in your life, oh. I'm talking hung long. Tear you up. <laughs> Tear you up. You will not just listen to that man just break down, just cry. Well, how he treat me. Because he's tearing he's tearing you up. I don't care. He's tearing you out the frame. Oh. I'm talking about Mako repair. I've dealt with someone like that. Whoa. TMI. Emotionally, he was just so disconnected. I couldn't. Like, for real? Yes, for real. I don't but now, now like suppose that. emotions was there. So, it, once again, it has nothing to do with the size of a man's dick that I got to deal with him. Like, what in the world? Well, I mean, that's part of it. No, it's not. <laughs> Girl, you got to understand. I got this dick. And you, this is who I am. Take me as I am. God. Yeah, I mean, listen, let me tell you something. When you see a man wear two hats, he got a hat on his head and a hat on the other head. It's more to that than it for me. It's, it's, it really is. I need more than that. 
this your own podcast. <laughs> because you're not going to physically and you can't satisfy me em- emotionally. Or intellectually? Correct. Okay. You want it all, huh? Why oh. not? Hey. I don't settle for less. She's so greedy. It's not being greedy. <laughs> in a perfect world, if you could. Perfect. Perfect. It's if, you not. See, if you see it in your lens, it's perfect. It's no, all, it's, I don't see anything as perfect. Oh, I'm sorry. But in, 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 in the regular world, that's what you <laughs> want it to be. If you can't get all three, what are you taking? Are you taking, if you said uh, emotionally, intellectually, and physically. If you can't pick three, which two are you taking? <laughs> Shit, I know. Give, listen, give me. So let's just say physical and I need physical and emotional. Okay. Yeah, so he want to. He could be dumb as shit. <laughs> but he is Roddy, slinging that pipe motion. But he can't. He can't tell you how to get the broad street. It will for me. I think. Listen, give me. T- I'll take a dumb bra with a banging body. You can keep the emotions. <laughs> Let me get the smarts and the box, please. Now, hey, this your podcast, man. Look, we had a good night tonight. That was, that was good. Quick. Wasn't yes. it? Time flies when you're having fun. Yeah, I mean, and we did a whole hour show. Okay. And we still got videos to upload from last week and the week before that. But either way, we're going to be in y'all faces every day. Hey. So make sure y'all tap in, yeah. like, comment, subscribe, YouTube, Instagram. Dance. Hit that sprinkler. We on Twitter. <laughs> Hit that sprinkler. <laughs> that's his favorite dance. That's, that's my shit, y'all. <laughs> we want to thank y'all for joining us tonight. Make sure you drop a like, drop a share, drop a subscribe. Tell us what you think.